Give credit to DePaul. I thought they, um, especially 32, I mean, he just took over the game, wanted the game more, um, came up with some 50-50 balls that uh, really hurt our, our – just hurt our cause. I mean, he was a one-man wrecking crew. You know, we had no answer for him, uh, whether it was his ISO drives, getting to the rim and finishing, uh, whether it was a cherry on top, just shooting threes at the end. But, you know, he made some, he made some big-time plays uh, coming up with loose balls and just breaking our back. You know, our offense can't shoot three free throws in a game. We got, some, we got, we got to figure something out. I mean, it's just three free throws is ridiculous. You know, we've got to be able to play through contact. And when we get bumped, we've got to be able to hang on to the basketball and, and quit turning over the damn ball um, when a guy knocks into us. But, um, you know, easy thing to do is say we're not shooting well. And that's – we've got to get the ball in the paint, period. It's my job to figure it out. Uh, Coach, speaking specifically of the offense, especially in the half court, um, it just is it more or less the passing? Is there not enough passing? Are the guards not, you know, putting the pressure on the defense? You know, really getting into the paint. Like, what's your the biggest issue with the half court execution right there, now? There's a lot of issues. Um, issue number one was, you know, DePaul went into a, a two-three matchup they hadn't showed all year, and uh, we we didn't handle it very well. Um, but uh, again, without watching the film, for us. We, we got to get the ball in the paint, and we got to be able to finish around the basket and draw fouls, and that'll open up other stuff uh, on the perimeter. But right now, we're just we're too perimeter oriented. Uh, speaking specifically of uh, Jalen and Sam, uh, not really. It seems like they, they've not really played well the last several games. What do you need to do to get those guys going, or will you look to maybe get those minutes to somebody else? Well, I mean, right now they're, they're, they're not playing a whole lot of minutes. And uh, they'll play more minutes when they play better. Um, you know, both of them are talented players, but, and we need more out of them. And uh, they're just as frustrated as, as we are for them. But, you know, we, um, we go with the guys that you know, we feel are uh, effective. And uh, no one was very effective other than Malik tonight. DePaul had a bunch, a number of scoring runs where you guys seem to really get cold from the from the floor. Uh, what's your your philosophy or belief there as far as when to use and when not to use timeouts to maybe slow a run down? I use the timeouts when I wanted to use the timeouts. That's my philosophy. Chris, what the the dry runs, uh, and we, we talked about it a little bit, is it offensive execution? Is it DePaul's defense? You said they played a matchup, which you hadn't seen them play before on, on film. Was that part of it? Well, hey, little, have you all played against a matchup this year? Um, we've played against zone. Um, you know, it, it quickly morphed into switching man-to-man, -man, so we just continued to run our man stuff. You know, I thought um, – you know, we, we got some looks that, that we need to finish around the basket. You know, we got our shot blocked. We got to be able to, you know, make decisions when the shot blocker gets in the air, uh, whether that's drawing a foul or dumping it off to his man uh, that we didn't make. But, yeah, you give DePaul a lot of credit. Um, they played big around the basket, but we didn't, we didn't crack the lane nearly enough uh, to put enough pressure uh, to get to the free throw line. Coach, you Chris, mentioned the fact that uh, DePaul wanted it more, um, you know, just talking about going after balls or being aggressive. Um, Matt seemed to be giving decent effort as well as uh, Dre. What do you need to do to get the rest of the team really putting out that maximum effort on the court on both ends? Yeah, I mean, I think on the offensive end, just hesitancy and, and, and uh, uh, just a, um, a lack of toughness with the basketball in decision-making of getting in the lane. And, uh, again, to draw fouls and to collapse the defense. And we're not doing that well enough. Um, you know, I thought some, you know, we, we had, I think, uh, you know, you hold a, a team to 36% from the field and 21% from the three-point line. Uh, give DePaul credit. Like I said, Dave Jones uh, was the guy that, you know, got two or three offensive rebound putbacks uh, when I thought it was 50-50. And it was in his hands and it was in our hands. And we've got to come up with that one. Uh, but, you know, we um, – you know, we ran into a team, and I say a team that wanted it more. I, I said a player that wanted it more. I thought David Jones was by far the best player on the court. 
Chris, with, with Jones, what were you guys trying to do to kind of get him out of rhythm? That's a good question. Didn't look like much. Um, you know, again, most of the, the baskets that he got were downhill drives. You know, he's got really good wiggle. He's a strong kid. You know, we had, for the most part, our fives in the lane. So it's not like he was finishing one-on-one -on -one and, you know, our fives outside the lane, you know, guarding the three-point line. You know, he's right there uh, in the thick of it. And the one time he did miss, uh, they got a, a heck of an offensive rebound, you know, tip in that uh, hurt us. You know, I think it put him up two. But he's, he's a really good player. He plays a little bit like some of our guys needed to play in the lane, and that's through contact. Hey, Chris, uh, Matt, Noah, and Jared are all guys who have shot well historically from the field and shot well from three. What do you think is going on with them right now, and how do you keep their confidence up to keep shooting? Yeah, it, again, it's, it starts with the ability to get the ball in the lane. I know I sound like a broken record, but that's when shots, um, you know, you got to take the open shots. And we had several open ones that we missed. And, um, you know, we're going to continue to tell them to shoot the ball, but it has to start with our ability to get the ball in the lane. And that has to be recognized a little bit more both by our coaching staff uh, and our players. And we've got to get it in there without getting it knocked out of our hands and without getting knocked over ourselves. Um, as far as getting the ball into the lane, uh, does that start more with the point guards, five assists, five turnovers? Um, are you happy with what Jared is the starters giving you as well as the guys coming off the bench? Yeah, I mean, Jared played, um, you know, uh, he's been playing really well for us. Didn't play well tonight on the offensive end. You know, he did a great job on – Freeman Liberty, you know, who ends up getting eight points. Uh, I thought Jared dogged him all night. But, you know, Jared didn't play as well tonight. But, you know, he's been a guy that, um, you know, runs our show, gets in the lane, uh, makes guys better. Uh, he'll have better nights. Chris, when you guys were not rebounding the ball very well early in the year, your players talked about some really physical drills, some stuff you did to change some of that. Are there things you can do in practice differently to encourage sort of more physical offensive play? Yeah, I mean, there, there's definitely stuff that, that I have to do because um, just talking about it isn't going to fix it. You know, we've got to be able to get on the floor and, and um, put guys in situations where they have to finish through contact. And, and hopefully then it becomes a little bit easier, a little bit more instinctive when we get in the game. But, but right now that's, that's, that's my fault. Do you walk a line with that stuff at all? Because in practice, there's a, obviously there's some limit to how physical you want to be. You don't want to get a bunch of guys injured, but you have to figure out a line there. Yeah, I mean, you just got to play legal, right? You can't hold, you can't grab, you can't shove guys down uh, to the floor. But, you know, we're going to be a physical team, or we need to be a physical team on the defensive end. But, uh, again, we need to be physical on offense and be tough with the ball. Thank you, Coach. Thanks.